My wrestling name is Brad Tannen. I'm one half of the Heavyweight Heartbreakers tag team, along with Hugo Bloom. The character itself it was a development from the high school bully. Coming into wrestling, I saw myself more on the heel side or the bad guy side of things. And the inspiration for the name came from Back to the Future. Most people know the school bully and that was Biff Tannen. So Brad Tannen kind of just rolled nicely off the tongue. Show us your love! <laughs> when I was a kid, I would, you know, make championship belts out of cardboard and I would play wrestle with friends or my brother or whatever, but it was always a pipe dream. At the time, I never thought I'd be able to get into it. It was just not that big in the United Kingdom, but much bigger than the US, where the opportunities you know, were 20, 30 years ago. Things have changed a lot since then. My personal wrestling journey started when I was 27 years old. I just quit playing rugby and I still needed a physical outlet. Wrestling to me, you know, and to a lot of the guys, it's, it's one of the most physically demanding things you can ever do. There's a misconception and a preconception that because it's an element of uh, predetermination that it's easy and it's fake. And I hate that word. There's nothing fake about it. Every slam, every punch, every kick, getting yourself off, off the canvas every time, it takes some real heart and guts. And once the adrenaline's died down, it's when you feel the pain. You've just got to make sure that the adrenaline and the pump and the love for wrestling outweighs that pain. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. I've been quite lucky that so far I've, I've not sustained any serious injuries. A knock here or a, a sore bone there, but nothing too much. I've had fellow uh, workers who, concussions, broken bones, coming off the top rope, a smallness slip and you know they've broken their collarbone. Myself, probably the worst thing I had was recently was, you know, a suspected broken nose, you know, claret everywhere. The British wrestling scene um, has never been better and bigger as, as it has been now. There's such a good community spirit with it and the sort of a looking out for each other sort of spirit to, to it now. Backstage, you'll always have someone looking out for you or after you, pointing you in the right direction if there's things they would suggest for, for a match that could make it better or even if it's as simple as not seeing someone for six months and saying how you doing mate once you've met someone in wrestling there's always that sort of brotherhood that doesn't seem to go away 